to be able to get that stuff out with ads to, to promote it so people know. So that's why we're having the share so we can get the word out, get stuff going, pay for stuff that we need, because without the listener support, without the extra support, we just really, we can't do more. Um, as a matter of fact, we are on that shoestring. So help us with the shoestring, will you? Help us be able to buy a new one, if you will. For the people show.com, I will be thrilled, even if you can't afford the raffle ticket, to give something. Uh, but if everybody that listens to this broadcast does their part, we'll be fine. I have no doubt about it. And like I say, Brian uh, went ahead and uh, had his uh, monthly support come in today for that $10. When that comes in or the $25, you say, man, now we can, a little bit more, a little bit more closer to that mark. Uh, we're able just to, I feel like a kid in a candy store. Wow. Somebody, somebody stepped up and I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the people show.com to make a donation today. And I, I really appreciate you listening to me and uh, spreading the word. Uh, it just, uh, I can't tell you uh, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, this hurricane man in, in Puerto Rico, really devastating and very sad for people to wake up their houses destroyed. Uh, if not close to it, uh, this category, uh, three storm, it left a wake of destruction uh, and it weakened slightly when it left the island, but then it regained power and then oddly left Puerto Rico powerless. Their power grid, not so great anyway. And then when Irma went through there, winds with 150 mile per hour winds and sometimes higher. This uh, same storm is uh, heading towards the northern Dominican Republic and uh, Turks and Caicos, centered about 95 miles north of Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. And that's where it's heading there. And thank God, because of Irma, without Irma, this puppy could be heading right towards Florida. So there's a blessing in Irma. So if it caused any damage... And it did uh, to a lot of damages in Florida, but it could be like Puerto Rico. And I hate, you know, people say, well, it's better than, than, I mean, I don't think people really think, you know, we, but better them than, than we. But I was saying on my first hour, I feel guilty. <laughs> you wake up in a nice dry bed, you can make coffee and you're good. And then you see the pictures of, Twisted boats, twisted houses, twisted power lines, twisted everything. Um, two feet of rain, incredible storm surge, and then the whole island without power. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Uh, seriously, uh breaks your heart. But if you had a warm cup of coffee or a hot cup of coffee today, think about the folks in Puerto Rico that don't have the luxury. Um, they're going to need some help. And if you have a trade, you, you do something and you're, you're semi quasi retired and you got some money means to be able to travel over there and you're able, there's folks who are going to need some help. And uh, if you're part of an organization or a church group, it's time to get your folks immobilized and ready to go. And, and if you can't do any of that, uh, I would tell you, even in the midst of our share uh, give to them first. Give to those causes. Uh, because I believe uh, that these folks in Texas or the islands, these these folks have nothing. And uh, Samaritan's Purse is one of my favorites. This is a Samaritan, uh, Franklin Graham Steel or AmeriCorps. They're, they're excellent as well. Uh, but between the two, the destruction in Mexico City is staggering as well. And we go to Mexico City, where correspondent Jonathan Hunt is in Mexico City. He's a Fox News correspondent to kind of give us an update 
of what's going on there. We're at the scene right now in downtown Mexico City of one of the major search and rescue operations. Behind me, beyond the tents that you can see, is a collapsed office building. Miraculously, last night, they actually pulled two women and a man out of that building, still alive. That is the kind of moment that gives the rescue workers hope. And all across this city, similar scenes are unfolding. And I tell you, Shannon, what is so extraordinary as you look at the destruction across this city is the spirit of the people of Mexico City and the country as a whole. There are not just thousands of official rescue workers working as hard as they can to find survivors here, but thousands and upon thousands of civilian volunteers showing up, bringing sandwiches, bringing water, bringing shovels, helping dig out the rubble and remove it as they continue that search in the hope that they might still find more people alive. How about the school? Yeah, it's simultaneously a symbol of heartbreak and of hope uh, at that school in southern Mexico City. Heartbreak because so many parents still wait outside the crushed ruins of that school, uh, not knowing the fate of their children. Hope because they believe they have made contact with at least one girl who is still alive. They're desperately trying to get to her. Here's what it looks like at the scene. Directly ahead of us is the collapsed school. It is a constant hive of activity activity here as hundreds of rescue workers continue the desperate search for any children who may have survived and be trapped beneath the rubble of that school. As you can see, supplies are constantly being brought in and the workers are constantly digging away as carefully as they can at that rubble, trying to find anybody who could still be alive. And then every few minutes, the rescue workers and the civilian volunteers here hold their clenched fists in the air. That is the signal for silence, the signal that those workers believe they might be able to hear something. It is a sign of desperation, and as every minute ticks away, this situation becomes more desperate. This is very clearly a race against time, but these Mexicans, people, the rescue workers, simply will not give up yet. Jonathan Hunt, Fox News correspondent, thanks so much for that report. Amazing uh, stories of rescue, but can you imagine being a parent and knowing that your child is under the rubble and just not knowing whether or not they're going to be able to survive or just missing? That's the plight of so many Mexicans dealing with that right now. Um, unfathomable, the agony, the heartache that uh, people are going through right now. Uh, it's just it's staggering. Um, pray for these people, these poor people that are dealing with that as well. There's so much heartache, folks, uh, in our world today. It's just to see that. That's why I say um, hmm. you, you wake up and you you kind of have an attitude of gratitude uh, and be thankful for it. But the least you can do, the least, the very least, is to say a prayer. Um, and more than one. Put them on the top of your prayer list. And if there's anything that you can do monetarily or physically with your own hands, now's the time to step in and do something. And we are our brother's keeper. It doesn't matter. President Trump called the Mexican president and said, we stand with Mexico. We have American workers over there right now sifting through the debris to find life. We'll be back right after this. It's done like anything you've ever been through in your life, man. I was driving. This uh, kid threw a grenade at us and went right over our vehicle. It was 12 years old. The shockwave went through my head, rattled up my brain, and left. Danger is around you 360 degrees at all times, and you can't unlearn that. It's impossible to describe the sacrifices these men and women have made to protect our freedoms. And the job of rebuilding their lives is massive and growing every day. Many will need the programs offered by the Wounded Warrior Project for years to come. I didn't know what PTSD was. All I knew was I was having nightmares. And when I got released, my reintegration was, go check in at the VA, man. My first coping mechanism was use drugs. Just numb it, don't feel anything. I was angry. 
I'm trying to pull myself out of that right now. Your gift today of $19 per month will honor and empower these veterans so they can aid and assist each other. The Wounded Warrior Project is a life raft. I can say this without question that I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for it. The Wounded Warrior Project is, is the first step getting back out into the world and reforming yourself outside of the service. Call or go online with a pledge of $19 a month. You'll receive this Wounded Warrior Project blanket, and your gift will provide critically needed programs that rebuild lives. That was my first feeling of actually being a part of something bigger than myself again. Well, I lost a few really close friends overseas, and if I quit, I'm going to let them down, and I'm not about to do that. I'm learning to face my fears head on. To trust and see what happens at the end. It's a long process, but I had the drive and desire. Please, call or go online with your gift right now. For the people is there. Get ready, get set for 123 Ready TV, the brand new app that everyone's talking about for your PC or Android device that allows you access to most every movie or TV show ever made. Sound incredible? Well, it is, because once you pay $19.99, that's all you pay. Just the movies and TV shows you like without the hassle. The internet streams everything already. What 123 Ready does is it finds them, then delivers them directly to you, commercial free. There's nothing quite like it, and it's available now at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. And before you buy 123 Ready TV, watch the video and see how simple it is to start watching all those movies and TV shows. If you like movies and TV shows, but don't enjoy paying for all of them, no problem. Just pay $19.99 and start enjoying countless titles and entertaining TV better than anyone. Get your 123 Ready TV for $19.99 at ForThePeopleShow.com. Just click on the store page. For the People has a special opportunity for you. If you own a business and want to gain a national audience that is loyal and will do business with you, imagine being able to get your product and or service into the hands of tens of thousands of people each week. Sponsorship opportunities are now available at rates you can afford. Finally, the show you love with your business supporting what we do in partnership. Start running your commercials today. To contact us, go to ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. It's share and that means it's time to help For The People stay on the air. Your giving keeps the freedom of the air a possibility. For The People is listener-supported, and only by its listeners are we able to bring you all the news each and every day with common sense, along with a conservative point of view. Help us be a voice of reason in a troubled world and make a donation today at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. It's your show, and we work hard to give you all the news and information that you need with commentary and insights you just don't get on the mainstream media. No fake news, just reality, so you can live your life in the know. share a is your opportunity to get behind For The People. Give securely online at ForThePeopleShow.com. It's share a Help For The People now at ForThePeopleShow.com. Thanks for your support. All right, so we have the uh, raffle uh, going right now. $200 will uh, be somebody's. It could be yours. So if you put 25 in, you could have 200 out. That's a pretty good deal. And even if you don't win, it's a good deal for us because we'll be closer to reaching our goal of four $5,000 is our goal, right? Yeah. Uh, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> You don't know what your goal is? Uh, If you don't know what your goal is, then you don't have a goal. But we do have a goal, folks. ForThePeopleShow.com is where you can go. And anything that we're doing and our progress and all that other stuff, you can see right there. $5,000, in fact, yes, is our goal. Uh, You can buy a raffle ticket. $25. Your chance to win $200. And currently, uh, we, we have $125. And we need to sell some tickets, folks. That's just the bottom line. Let's uh, get get this party started, as they say. Sometimes, you know, for share they say the first and second, third day, a little slow. But then as, you know, you, you know, get through the week, it's Thursday now. And I think it's time right now, don't you think? We're warmed up enough right now to make it happen. 
Some of you were just waiting for your paycheck to come in for the next day to see what you had. And it might be that day where you're like, okay, I have the $25. But if you don't, don't feel bad. Um, if you can only give like a dollar, that's fine. Or maybe it's 10 bucks. Uh, just give what you can, and that will add to that number. And that will be very, very, very appreciative. We can make it together. Remember, if we do all our... 